What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing a Pokemon that you guys have probably never seen before on the rank ladder. We got ourselves a Dragon Dance Tropius team for ranked regulation H. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Tropius, Tropius. I'm going to be saying it different ways all throughout today's video, but Tropius over here, I'm going to call it Tropius. Tropius over here has Dragon Dance to boost its speed and attack, making this Pokemon really fast and hit really hard. On top of that, it's got Harvest as its ability with the Citrus Berry as its item, giving it a constant stream of HP recovery if RNG is on our side. So we're going to be looking to harvest some berries, constantly have this Pokemon recover HP and stay on the field a long time. Now, other Pokemon on today's team features Hydreigon, Metagross, Ninetales, Sylveon, and Myshaw. Hydreigon's a great special attacker with Tailwind and Dragon Cheer. We can actually pair up this Pokemon next to Dragon Terra Tropius and hopefully boost its critical hit ratio and make it go crazy. Metagross can be a great physical attacker with Assault Vest. Ninetales are weather controlled Pokemon. Sylveon, a great special attacker. And Myshaw, great with coaching and fake out. We can boost physical attacker's damage and defense stats and fake out at the same time. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using Tropius in ranked regulation H. First match coming at you guys, looking to get things started off with Tropius here in match number one. Going up against Talonflame, alongside with Clefable, Teeftar, Garchomp, they also have Golden Go, and last but not least, they have Rotom Wash. Now, I definitely want to bring in Ninetales in this matchup, considering they got Weather Control, and we don't feel like dealing with that. I could also go into Tropius here, which isn't a bad call. It's not a terrible call. I do have Dragon Terror type, which is pretty good if we need it. And you know what? I'm going to end up going into this Pokemon with Hydreigon, because I can not only pop tailwind but i can also drag and cheer into it if we want to so i'm gonna go in with both of them i am gonna end up bringing nine tails um and last but not least what's our call metagross isn't too bad i could go in with my shell um what's your coverage move my shell do you even have a coverage move you do have knockoff which is really good for golden go um but i want that though would i rather just have metagross because i mean metagross can be super effective onto a few of these guys plus it has assault vest it's got rock slide it's got psychic fang um Hmm, Golden Ghost just seems like a slight issue. I mean, I got Nine Tails to kind of deal with it. I think Metagross isn't a bad call for us. I'm gonna go Metagross. Metagross. Can't go wrong with Metagross. It's just such a good Pokemon all around. So, that's the squad. Tropius coming out here. Match number one. Hopefully, I can set this thing up. Start getting some damage off with it. Again, it's an off-meta Pokemon. We'll see how good we can actually do with it. We'll see. It's gonna be tough. Luckily, they don't have any Intimidate users, which is actually good for us. So we'll see who they want to lead. It's going to be Talonflame and Rotom. So Talonflame and Rotom come out here. Um, Leaf Blade does some work. Leaf Blade can do some work. Um, I could set up Tailwind this turn if I want to. That's the question. Do I want to? I could just go Terra and Leaf Blade. I do like the Terra Leaf Blade play. And maybe just Dragon Cheer this turn. It's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. We're Terrasalizing right here right now. You got fire and flying moves we just don't want to deal with that we got harvest with the berries um i like this i like this so we'll hit that terror button we'll go for that dragon cheer looking to just you know throw a shot in the road time here the brave bird is going to launch here which is great we soak decently well we do not pop our what's it called which really sucks our berry but now we're going to pop our berry and i have a chance to harvest so i'm going to eat up this berry this is going to bring us up to half it does. I'm going to be able to drag it here. So who's taking this Leaf Blade? Zero question. Who's taking this Leaf Blade? Who is taking this Leaf Blade? Titar is taking this Leaf Blade. That's actually nice. I don't mind that one bit. I do not mind that at all. The Dragon Cheer comes out here. Right into the Tropius. Tropius is going to get a guaranteed crit with his Leaf Blades. Because Leaf Blade is already boosted in crit. And we're going to deal some damage to this Titar here. Great damage. That's some great damage right there. The super effective shot, crit. And let's see if I can harvest a berry. That's 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 my real hopes here. Can your boy har harvest a berry? Can I harvest a berry? No, we don't. So I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna look to harvest a berry here. And at the same time, I'm gonna set up this tailwind. See if he terrestrializes too, because there is a chance he does. Then I'm just straight up protecting, trying to harvest a berry out here. Um Tailwind's gonna fly from the talent flame. And I might want to change up weather after this, which could be nice for us. He's going to go for a knockoff. So he's looking just to, just to hit me hard. And I'm getting rid of this weather. 
I'm taking this weather, or not the weather way. I'm tailwinding up. So I'm able to tailwind. I'm able to uh, get stuff going. Do I harvest the berry yet? I'm trying to harvest berries here, man. Can I get a little bit of RNG on my side? Can I just get a tad bit of RNG on my side? That's all I ask for. A little bit of berry action would be awesome right now. Yes! There it is. Nice little RNG harvest. I'm going to munch on a berry right now. I'm going to get some HP back. Lovely. Get after it, Tropius. Get after it. Just what we wanted. All right, so from here, I have Levitate. I can EQ freely. EQ would take out the T-Tar. We could end up going after this. Uh, you could have Flying Tar. That's the only issue. That is the only issue. I could just go for Dragon Dance here. Yeah, options. Or I can just launch another Leaf Blade. I'm just going to launch a Leaf Blade and try to jerk a Meteor down this Talon Flame. Actually, let's change up the weather. No, you know what? We're gonna go Leaf Blade. We're gonna go Draco Meteor here. That's gonna be my play. So we'll, we'll, we'll attack. I could have changed up the weather, but I'd rather get rid of T-Tar first before anything. So Brave Bird launches, does solid damage all around. He's he is gonna take a recoil. And Draco Meteor's gonna fly. Tropius, can you outspeed? There's a chance that you do outspeed. There is a chance. This could be a big, a big play for us. If we can outspeed here and then harvest another berry. I don't think we're outspeeding, though. Oh, we are. That is huge. I love you, Tropius. I love you. That's a big time KO. And if we could harvest a berry here, my lord. <laughs> give me a berry. Just give me a berry. The chance our guard time's going to come out here. I'm going to want to swap, get weather control. But first things first, I need a berry. I need, I need another berry. My boy's hungry. Give him another berry, baby. Harvest up. Now I can protect and go for another berry chance. Give him berries all day, baby. All day. I don't know what the percentage is on it, but right now we're rocking out with it. This thing's just munching. He's just munching. Garchomp's gonna come out here. Chances are it's Sandville, and I really just want to get rid of this weather. Um, Rotom's gonna be their final two. Definitely gotta change up weather for the rest of the match. Um, just protect my boy and swap into Nine Tails. Swap into Nine Tails. So weather is ours. Good thing Water Moon or one of them is at least Water. Um. He's probably reading the protect here. I mean, it's pretty simple. We're trying we're trying to harvest berries. We're just sitting here trying to harvest right now. And we're gonna see their terror type pop out here. If I can harvest another berry now. Oh my lord. If we can harvest one more berry right now. We're gonna be sitting pretty well. But he's just gonna go straight electric terror. Which is okay. And I'm just protecting my boy. I'm trying to get some berries up in here. Maybe I should have attacked because he's probably reading the protect. And yeah, he's reading that all day. Dragon Claw's gonna fly. Nine tails. Whew, takes a crit. Takes a mean crit. And he's gonna go for discharge here. Alright, so. Pretty smart play on their end, just a choice in the discharge. Unless I can get another berry, which would be awesome. <laughs> another berry would be goaded. So weather's gone. Um, he's just gonna spam discharge the rest of the match, which is a little tough on our end. But I can bring it. You might be choice though. You might be choice, and I do harvest another berry. Oh my lord. I love you, Tropius. Keep eating. Keep, keep eating, dude. Just keep eating. So, the problem here is... The Discharge does a lot of damage. That's the problem. And the, and the, another problem is we're not outspeeding this Garchomp. We're not outspeeding this Garchomp. So, who do I have to get rid of first? I'm trying to figure this out. Hmm. He's just, he's just gonna Dragon Claw my Tropius down this turn and then this Discharge f freely here. Um, I feel like I have to go into maybe you here, Hydreigon, and hope that you can at least soak up a Discharge. Right now, you have Levitate. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. I really want to dump on you. Your choice. I think your choice is Scarfed, and I'm gonna have to go after his Garchomp. So I'm gonna go after Garchomp. I'm actually just gonna double down to Garchomp. And he's just gonna Dragon Call this slap down. Yeah, saw that coming. But the thing is, can we soak up this? What's it called? This Discharge. I think you should be able to. I know it's Electric Terra. Kind of scary, but I'm hoping we could just soak this and then Draco Meteor KO the Garchomp turns into a two v one. Could get a little bit bit better for us. Yeah, we soak it all day. Awesome. 
drinking me your flies. That's that's perfect. I don't know why I thought Discharge was doing a lot more damage than it did there, but pretty solid match for us. Tropius, Tropius, whatever you want to call it, actually munching on how many berries? <clears throat> like I said, Harvest is an amazing ability, but it relies on RNG a lot, a lot. So if RNG is not on that match, it's not going to work out in your favor, but it was working for us. That's why Protect is good, because you constantly get like chances at it. So you go chance, chance, chance. But from here, I mean, Psychic Fang is going to do a decent chunk of damage. We're going to send it. Um... And we're just going to send... I guess we'll just start snarling. Just lower this thing special attack. He's just going to end up discharging because we just want to kind of keep its damage low. I mean, I got Vest, which is good. And... Oh, no. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Snarl, at least, out here doing some damage. Getting a crit and lowering special attack. So, Metagross can soak up another shot, which is good. Psychic Fang should just KO. And it does. Okay, so nothing to worry about. 1-0 and o to get the thing started. We're rocking out with Tropius. Time for match number dos. Match number two on its way, going up against Char Char. Charizard, the goat of Pokemon, an all-time favorite of everybody. With Robum, with Storm Drain Gastron, they also have King Gambit, they got Torkoal, and they got Wimpscott. Now, this one can get a little out of hand for me. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. It could definitely get out of hand real quick, considering Torkoal and Charizard can just sit here and thrive out in the sunlight. I don't really have much counters to it, but I do have a dragon type right here that resists fire moves and has snarl So I like Hydreigon for our lead I also kind of like my shell out here just to fake out turn one and kind of bias a little bit of time So it is something I want to do. So I'm gonna go my shell. I'm gonna end up going Hydreigon Tropius on the other hand probably riding the pine in this match I do like it for Gaston, but other than that, it's like mm, do I really want it? I could go nine tails nine tails is okay here you know, Flamethrower can do work on every other Pokemon besides, you know, Gastron and then the Fire types. Do I want it? I do want it. I'm going to end up going Ninetales. And do I go Sylveon? Again, it's the same situation that, like, Ninetales is in. Can't really do much up against the Fire types, but outside of it, it does pretty well. So, you know what? Hmm. We just go Trop. We could go Trop. Trop ain't bad. No, we're going to go Sylveon here. We're going to go Sylveon. So we'll give Sylveon a shot. Maybe I should have went Metagross, but the problem is with the Steel types, it's like, come on, man. You're going to get dumped on by these by Charizard and Torkoal. Plus King Gamma's Dark type as well, which I can't really soak up a shot for that either. So we'll, we'll, we we ended up going with Sylveon. We ended up going with Sylveon. Looking to go 2 0 here. Tropius killing it in match number one. We're making it ride the pine here. It's sitting on the bench right here in match number two. And they're going to end up going Charizard to one cut. So they could set up Sunny Day here. It wouldn't be a bad call. I mean, I can fake out... The Charizard, I can pick out the Wimscott, um, but the Wimscott most likely has, has what's it called, Cobra Cloak, so I'm just going to fake out the Charizard, and they're going to protect the Wimscott here. So faking out Charizard could be clutch here if you're not protecting it. You're still protecting. All right, so you know what I'm, I'm trying to do here? You know I want to go for a Snarl. I might end up hard swapping here into maybe Ninetales, because I would think they would want to set the sun more so than anything. Because I got I to gotta constantly spam Snarl here. They gotta want to set the sun, right? They have to want to set the sun. So I'm gonna Terrasalize actually fire here, just to kind of deal with Wimscott. So I'm gonna Snarl and... I wish Heart Swap into Ninetales. I wish I could protect, but you know what? I guess we'll stay in here. I guess we'll go for a knockoff into Charizard. Try to take off this thing's item. Just neutralize the damage a lot. But yeah, we're gonna Terrasalize Hydreigon because... Obviously, Wimscott outspeeds and one moon blast is four times super effective. I'm not I'm not ready to, to let my Hydreigon go, so I'd rather use her Terra at this point. So we're gonna Terrasalize early here. Looking to get some work done with Hydreigon. And is Moon Blast correct? It is correct. So we call on RN and she go into that fire terror at the perfect time. Air Slash is gonna launch into my shot. We're gonna sash up. That's why we got that focus sash. That's why we got that focus sash. That's why we got it. We keep it on us at all times. At all times, knockoff gonna fly. Bye bye item and good damage all around. And great damage. Bye bye life orb. Life orb's gone. Snarl does launch here. Um, I don't think Charizard. Charizard might not stay in here for another turn without its life orb. So honestly, I'm just gonna go into a tailwind. I'm gonna keep my shell for the back end because fake out is just so good. It really is. So I'm gonna do that, and I could go into Sylveon this turn if I really want to. Or I could just stick with nine tails here. Set the sun, really start to get after it. Um, I'm just gonna set the sun. 
I'm just gonna set the sun to go for Tailwind. Yep, cool. So we're gonna withdraw Charizard. We kind of seen that happening. And Torkoal is now gonna come out here. So we're gonna be able to get off a Tailwind here. Oh, you're setting up Trick Room. Don't tell me you're setting up Trick Room. Don't tell me you're setting up Trick Room. No! That's a great call on their end. A really good call on their end. Luckily, we are bringing out Nine Tails, which, I mean, problem is with Izzy Eruption. No, you're not going for. Okay. You're not going for Trick Room. That's good news on our end. That's great news. So Tailwind now launches. We get some speed control. Thought they were going for Trick Room. I thought we were going to have a big time problem. And from here, I'm just going to Snarl Spam just to kind of keep this what's called under control, this Torkoal under control. And we'll Flamethrower with this Whimscott. So we're kind of just sitting here up against a Fire Squad. He ends up just protecting Whimscott. Maybe looking to just go for an Earth Power. Hopefully he launches it into the Hydreigon slot. That'd be real nice. That'd be real nice considering we're Levitate. But I think he wants to go for an Earth Power here. We are going to be able to Snarl before he actually moves, which is really good on our end. Gotta keep this Torkoal under control. That's what's so good about Hydreigon is it's stab dark moves, so it does a lot of damage. But no, he's just going for Flamethrower in the sun. We soak that. We we'll go for another Snarl. We just got to keep this under control. Keep this under control. That's the whole plan here. It's just to keep these special attackers under control. Because once they get out of hand, we're going to lose this match. So we'll go for another Snarl. We know they have Charizard in the back end who's low on HP. Women's got special attacker. If their last Pokemon is a special attacker, it should be looking pretty good here. But we're going to be able to take out this Women's got here with this Flamethrower. Bop. See you later. And Snarl's gonna fly out here, making Torkoal minus two. Torkoal's just... Torkoal's just being Torkoal right now. And it's so nice. Like I said, that stab Snarl does so much more damage than it it usually does. Like, any other Snarl usually, like, you think of, like, Arcanine or even Incineroar does, like, paper towel damage. But Hydreigon's hitting, like, an absolute truck with Snarl. Gastrodon comes out here, and that pretty much seals the deal for a slow Pokemon. We're just gonna Snarl our way to victory. So I'm gonna Snarl here. I am going to end up throwing just like a burnout here. Just to kind of slowly chip away some damage, but I can see him just canceling. He's going to end up terrestrializing. Who's terrestrializing? You kind of would rather keep your typing. It's going to be Gastron. What do you got here, Gastro? Actually, fire works out perfectly because I'm trying to burn you. <laughs> I'm trying to burn you, so a lot of fire types coming out onto the field. Snarl is just going to keep working wonders. That's all I pretty much have to do to victory, right? Just snarl, 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 snarl in the game. I think so. I hope so. The snarl gonna come out here. Take this little little sea slug. Not doing a lot of damage, but the special attack drops are huge. He's gonna yawn. That's actually a good call. The yawn comes out here. Torkoal might swap. I'm gonna flamethrower into the Torkoal slot. I think Torkoal wants to get a special attack back. Tailwind's gone. Um. I'm going to swap you just so you don't go to sleep. And Sylveon's not looking good here. Everyone's a fire type. I'm going to end up going into my shell. And just flamethrower this slot just in case Charizard comes out. Because I think he's going to protect the Gastron. And I have to keep, I have to keep my Hydreigon. I kind of need my Hydreigon. I kind of need my Hydreigon. I'm going to swap into my shell. Hopefully they're not hitting it. And Helping Hand's going to come out here. What are you going for? Are you going for Earth Power? You gotta be going for Earth Power. You gotta be going for Earth Power. Yep. Alright, that's fine. So we're actually still able to soak, which is really good. Sunlight's gonna fade. Um, I could fake out and swap if I want to, but we got a lot of speed cooking right now. We got a lot of speed cooking. I'm gonna close combat this Torkoal. They don't have sun anymore, which is good. So I'm just gonna close combat this Torkoal. I'm gonna look to get rid of it. And you know what? If they protect, I would love to just Hal boost to my shell. Yep, there's protect on Gastron. Torkoal, don't protect. Torkoal is protecting. So we're Hal boosting. We're getting an attack boost here, which is nice. And I think attacking this Gastron is probably a little bit of a better option for us. Just deal damage into this Pokemon. And there's my Hal. There's a little Hal City, baby. Attack boost for me and my ally Pokemon. We're sitting low HP, but he's just left over boosting. So I'm plus one on attack. I could close combat into the Torkoal and KO it. But I'm just going to flamethrower it. Let's be honest here. 
I'm gonna go for close combat. Actually, I could knock off your item. Could be bigger for us. I'm gonna go for knockoff. I'd rather take off your item. I'd rather take off your item than just close combat. Because leftovers could get out of hand, especially with protect. I'd rather just take off this item here. So Troco's gonna end up trying to go for double protect. That's good news. Knockoff's gonna launch here. Do respectable damage. Close combat actually probably would have KO'd. After looking at that, that that damage right there. Flamethrower's gonna slowly chunk up on Torkoal. And my shout is going to die out here to Ice Beam. So that's not bad for me. I mean, now I can just bring back out Hydreigon and pretty much just... Kinda just win this game, right? Because Snarl's gonna KO... Is he gonna KO the Gastrodon? That's the real question at hand. Because I know they want to go for a Yawn. I know they want to go for a Yawn. We definitely have to go for Snarl. So I'm gonna Snarl here. And... I guess I'll Flamethrower into Gastrodon. Let's see. Flamethrower's gonna launch. Probably do negative six. Oh my lord, it did nothing. It did nothing. Snarl's gonna launch, and it's going to KO the Torkoal. The Gastrodon is shown here. It's minus two, but it's gonna yawn me. Which is the biggest threat. Which is the biggest threat. Yeah, there's the yawn. Alright. Okay. Um. How do I play this one? <laughs> how do I play this one? Charizard's low HP. Um. Do I go to sleep or do I... I think I don't go to sleep. I think I just swap here into Sylveon. I think I don't go to sleep. I think I just take the damage. And we just try flamethrowing down this slot. So too low HP. We just can't really have Hydreigon going to sleep. Hydreigon just soaks the shots really well, especially with Levitate. So we need Hydreigon. I'm going to swap it again. We can't allow this Pokemon to go to sleep. We cannot allow it. Even if they make a read here, I still think we're good. Because typically they would protect and just let Hydreigon go to sleep. But if they're reading, we're swapping, which is kind of an obvious read. And just attacking, that's fine. But there's one protect, so that, that works out fine for us. That works out fine. It's probably Earth Powering down here. No, they're double protecting. That, that was their one thing. They were like, okay, we need we need him to go to sleep. So they do end up going for double protect. We swap at the perfect time. And now we got Cotton Candy Sylveon out here, which is perfect for us. It's legit perfect. So I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. I'm going to go for Flamethrower. All my moves are not very effective, but Hydreigon being pristine here. Heat Wave's going to launch. It's going to KO Nine Tails. Um, get a crit on my Sylveon, which kind of sucks. And a crit on my... Whoa! Whoa! What is that RNG? What is that RNG there? Double Heat Wave land and double crit. It's all right. Hyper Voice coming out here. KO in the Charizard. Bring Gash down to one. And I get a crit on Charizard? What is going on with the RNG right now? It's absurd. But still, I mean... Thankfully, we were able to get some RNG back at them. We're able to KO the Charizard. You're going to go for Earth Power. We will soak this. And that will be game, set, match. So match number two. Go into your boy. We can bring back out Hydreigon. We outspeed this Gastron who's on one little HP. We can legit, like, throw a feather at it, at it right now, and it'll die. And that's going to be game. Thanks for playing 2-0 with this Tropius team. And we're absolutely lighting it up. GG's. They end up canceling the match. Final match on its way, and I'm actually surprised we're sitting 2-0. We're going up against a Swampert and my Pyrrhia Trick Room team with Fergaraph, with Volcarona, Amoongus, and last but not least, Torkoal. Now, the team that we're using today doesn't really have, like, a pristine counter to Trick Room. Um, they got a lot of special attackers, so, like, like, Snarl and maybe, like, Coaching could help us out, but I think Hydreigon is definitely going to be a Pokemon that we want to lead here. So, I'm going to end up leading this guy. Um, I'm going to end up leading Tropius. I mean, if I can pull off some Dragon Dances, that could be... It can be good. I mean, attack boosts are always good. So I'm with I'm a trap. I'm a trap. So trap and Hydreigon gonna be our lead in the back end. We're gonna have to worry about Torkoal a little bit. So I think she's going into like my shout and maybe Sylveon here. I mean, Sylveon's good up against a few, but like, eh. She's got fire terror type. It's eh. It's eh. I mean, Torkoal's the main threat. I mean, Metagross could also come in here with Rock Slide and a Water Terror type. And actually, I like that a bit more than Sylveon. So get on over here, Metagross. Get on over here. I like it. I definitely like it. So, final match here. The Trot Master 3000 looking for that perfect record. We didn't use it in match number two. It was warm in the bench, but Hydreigon was just the MVP of that match. It was it was killing it. It was killing it. The Trap killing it match number one. Hydreigon killing it match number two. Now we're combining them both for our lead here. Brigraf and Volcarona come out here. I really like Snarl. Um, could see your Rage Powder fly out here. Definitely a possibility. Um, and honestly, I think I just Snarl Dragon Dance. Let's get these attack boosts going. 
Let's get him going, because chances are they're going to be able to get off Trick Room regardless of the, of the amount of damage we do right now. So I think just like setting up our trap is probably a better option. Definitely is, but I love the little banana necklace that this thing's rocking. It just got bananas coming off of its neck, which is hilarious. But they end up just protecting here, which is fine. I mean, they could attack Trop here with like a heat wave, which could, which could get a little scary. But no, they're going to end up going Bug Buzz into Hydrogon, which I end up soaking. That's good news, and I get off a free D-Dance. I do end up getting off a free D-Dance, which is rather nice. And I do get a crit on Bokuron and that special attack drop, so... A little tough news here. I mean, D-Dance gonna fly out here. Um, I could end up terrestrializing the Trop, which isn't bad. Fire moves are scaring me. Fire moves are scaring me. I mean, if you're gonna go for Bug Buzz here, I doubt it. I think you go for Heat Wave more so than anything. I think we try to attack at least. And I terrestrialize you, and I just go for like a Leaf Blade into the slot, or I could just go for EQ. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We're gonna go EQ. A little bit of EQ action. So Dragon Terror popping out here. I mean, EQ plus one, not stab. It's gonna do. It's gonna do mad damage. It's not gonna be anything crazy, but we gotta give it a shot here. I mean, I wasn't really expecting the Bug Buzz coming out from Volcarona. I was more so expecting, like I said, the Trick Room Rage Powder kind of play. So there's another Bug Buzz. Wow, they doubled down with Bug Buzz. I could have just swapped. I thought you would go for a Heat Wave here, which is why I wanted to Terrastalize. So Bug Buzz flying there. He's minus one. EQ's going to launch, which is good news. How much damage are we doing? Another one has a shot at KO and Volcarona, and Trick Room does fly. This is That's the scary part here. It's like, Trick Room's out here. They got a lot of good Pokemon. I can't fake out. I can't protect you. I gotta go into my shell here. I guess just start coaching up this bad boy, right? Is that my play? Just coach up this, uh, this, what's it called? This tr trap? I think it's gotta be. I think it's gotta be. So I'm gonna coach up. I'm gonna go for Leaf Blade into this slot. And I think that's her best bet here. Because I can't fake out. I don't have a lot of protects. I think our hope here is just to keep boosting this trap. In hopes that we can just, you know win this game with that, but I think if they go Heat Wave here, it's game set match. Leaf Blade is going to fly before Volcarona, which is good, so we do good damage there. And you got a Berry. So Berry flies Volcarona fashion in my shell, I believe so. And you're going to go for Bug Buzz, which, oh my lord, of course gets a crit. I got a Berry, can I harvest this turn and double down on Berries? That could be really good for us. That could be great news for us. But I'm gonna coach up. And I'm gonna hope to just harvest a berry. Can I harvest a berry here? Give me a nice little berry harvest. Yes! My dog! <laughs> so harvest up a berry. Um EQ could be really good. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Maybe I should just went for knockoff this turn. Close combat. Bug bus just like doing a lot of damage. I'm surprised he hasn't went for Heat Wave yet. Got three turns left in the Trick Room. Gonna have to go for Knockoff Protect here. I mean, what's called Stead regardless? My Shell. We can hope that they double down into Trap here. I think they might. I think they might. This could be a good call. They do. Oh, baby. Hold up. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. KO this Friggy. Actually, maybe keep Friggies on the field. I'm not too sure how I want to deal with this Friggies. Let's keep it on the field on one. Can I Harvest Berry? You got Kudchu? I could have faked out this whole time? You got Kudchu? And I didn't Harvest a Berry. That really sucks. I gotta hope Trap can eat up. I'm gonna go for double protect. You're gonna double down into me. I'm going for double protect. Sure. RNG on my side. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the RNG on my side. We had to go for double protect here. They do not double down though. Okay, that's that that's fine. I probably could have attacked that turn. Um Can I harvest a berry though? Harvesting a berry would be huge. Bug Buzz gonna launch. Now I know you don't have armor tail, so I can bullet punch the free ref this turn. I do harvest berries, so we got a berry on standby. 
Got to bury on standby. Got to bury on standby. One turn left in Trick Room. Good to know. Really good to know. Um. And honestly, we should just Rock Slide. I was going to Bullet Punch, but I'm just going to Rock Slide and Leaf Blade. Got a Barry on standby, which is massive. So they're going to hit me once, probably with, like, Frigograph Psychic. And then we're going to Barry up and be able to soak up the Bug Buzz. If they want to double down into... Into Trop. But Trop's boosted pretty well here. With Trick Room ending, this could be pretty good. This could be pretty good. Helping Hand going to come out here. What are you rocking here? Are you going for Helping Hand Bug Buzz or Heat Wave? Rock Slide, hit the Volcarona. Thank you. All right, that's all we needed. We needed to hit the Volcarona. All right, that's good news. So Volcarona, gone. Good thing Metagross is slower than that thing. Furgraph, gone. Get it on out my face. Bye. Cool. Awesome. So, Trop over here is plus two on attack, plus one on speed, and plus one on defense. Trick Room is done with. But the scary part is they could bring out Torkoal still. Torkoal can still do a nice chunk of damage. There it is. So Torkoal is here. I definitely want to go for a Rock Slide. Um, and Rhyperior is here as well. I mean, Rhyperior takes a huge lick of damage to a Leaf Blade. Let's be honest here. And they still have Terra. So I'm going to go for Rock Slide. I am going to go for Leaf Blade into the slot. I got a berry on standby, which is good. And out comes the Terra. I'm kind of hoping it's Torkoal, but chance are it's got to be Rhyperior. They got to play it smart. Seeing Leaf Blade. Yeah, Rhyperior's going to get it. And what type of you got? You got straight Grass. All right, so maybe I can hope for Flinches here. Grass is too perfect, man. I don't think I can KO this Rhyperior with Grass Terra. I EQ and Leaf Blade. It's my main source here. Protect comes out here, so, I mean, hold up. Give me a flinch on Rhyperior. Some, that's that's a okay damage for not very effective. Rock Slide's gonna get blocked by Torkoal. Can we land it here? We do land it. Can I get the flinch? A little bit of RNG action would be huge. Bro, my RNG crazy this game. It, it honestly is. It honestly is. I gotta go for Meteor. Actually, what would do more? Meteor Mash or Psychic Fangs? Do we think EQ's gonna KO my... That's my problem. Do we think EQ's gonna KO my what's it called? This eruption scaring me. We definitely want to go Meteor Mash here. I'm just going to protect Trop. I'm just going to protect Trop. So there's that. Meteor Mash going to launch. How much damage are we doing? It's respectable, but not, not enough. Rhyperior is going to go for EQ. Oh, baby. This was good. This was good. He's hitting his own Torkoal. He's hitting his own Torkoal. And my Metagross is able to soak. So Torkoal takes a shot there. Torkoal's going to erupt. I'm going to protect it. Um, still rocking a berry on standby. Metagross dies out. And this, this is coming down to it. This is coming down to it. Meteor Mash doing good damage. I'm, I'm plus one on the fence, which is really good. I'm hoping that this EQ plus two attack could actually KO the Torkoal. So I'm going to send it. Trop for the clutch. This would be crazy today. 3-0 perfect record with Trop. Surprised that Torkoal actually didn't take as much damage as it did to that EQ. Like, that EQ actually, you would think would KO that Torkoal, to be honest. But it only did about half. It's alright. So I got a berry on standby still. Cannot forget about the, the little harvest that my Trop did. And we'll see what he wants to do here. So EQ's gonna fly. Can we KO the Torx? We don't KO the Torx. No shot. No shot. And this thing's got Mega Horn. I uh, get the berry up here, which is really nice. And he's going for Earth Power, Heat Wave. What you got? What you got for me, Torx? Solar Beam. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Shouldn't do that much. Can I harvest another berry? Oh my god, another berry on standby, baby! Another berry on standby! <laughs> another berry on standby, going for another EQ. Chances are they protect the Torkoal. Um, bro, my Trop plays no games. My Trop doesn't play games. My Trop doesn't play games. I'll be honest here, guys. I'll be honest. 
My RNG is usually terrible. It has been great today. It has been great today. I don't want Jinx or anything. It has been phenomenal today. So BQ's gonna fly. He's got Poison Jab. He's got a lot of different moves. I'm soaking it. Guess what, guys? No. No! <laughs> my RNG's back to terrible. But I was gonna say, guess what? I got a berry. Is there a chance I harvest another one here? I could protect or I could just EQ. Oh, no. Harvest the berry. Eat up. Eat up, Trump! Eat up! Eat up! Eat up! Dude, this is crazy. Eat up, that's massive. My boy Trop. My boy Trop. I'm gonna send another EQ here. I was gonna protect and try to harvest a berry, but... Nah, no need. We, are, we just harvest one. Yo, this thing... How many berries did we eat today? Somebody who is a long-time viewer who likes to watch my videos, go back to match number one and this match, and let me know how many berries were harvested today. I want to know. I'm curious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all my long-time viewers and my new viewers. You guys all rock out. You guys want to, you know, support me a little bit extra, we got that subscribe button, like the video, all that good stuff. And there is a membership link and donation link. So if you guys are interested, definitely head on to that description. Oh my lord, we just lost. We just lost. We just lost to a crit. I jinxed myself. I really jinxed myself. I really jinxed myself with my RNG. I really just jinxed myself with that RNG. That's crazy because Trot was absolutely thriving today. Just to lose to RNG. Even though my RNG was good, that, that, that one hurts to lose still. Just when you think my RNG is good, I get critted on by a Rhyperior with Megahorn. With Megahorn, which is actually a move that has a high chance of missing. So instead of missing, it crits me and I lose that match after Tropius has just been killing it today. Absolutely killing it. But hey, still rocked out with this Pokemon. Still did absolutely amazing with it. This thing harvested like crazy and our RNG was on point today up until that Rhyperior crit. So, cannot complain that much. I absolutely love this team and love the off-meta aspect of it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.